floppy. Oh yeah. You know, I don't understand why they call these floppy disks. It's not very floppy. Um, just bad marketing. Oh yeah, I have a lot of floppy disks. I think I have like eight in total. These are just five that I could grab easily. Floppy disks, surprisingly cheap online. It's almost like people don't want them, which I don't understand why. I mean, the storage on this thing is just unimaginable. Uh, high density here. This is 1.4 uh, megabytes, which is like a lot, really. Floppy disks are the, the storage of the future. Yeah, so 1.4 megabytes. This iPod here, this is a uh, 80 gigabytes. But I would prefer this, honestly. Like if I could get a floppy disk music player, I totally would. But I have the next best thing, which is of course the Sony Digital Mavica. Uh, 1.6 megapixels, okay. It's got this really nice lens cap though. Um, yeah, I really have nothing to say about this. It's a 4.75 to 38 millimeter lens. And I'm imagining the sensor is like half an inch, maybe. I don't really even know where to begin with this. I guess just from the beginning. You're asking probably, why do you own this? I got this when I bought my first Canonet on the internet, Craig had posted something on his list for a Canonet QL17 G3 and digital camera, 25 bucks. But it was more like digital camera, also Canonet kind of thing. So like this got priority listing. And there was like four pictures of this and like half of a blurry photo of a Canonet. So drove all the way up north. It was like 45 minutes away from where I live. It wasn't too bad. This was like last year, start of the pandemic time. So it's still kind of sketchy to go out, but whatever. Cruise up to this dude's uh, house. It was like one of those like McMansion type houses that were just like, a million of them were built and they're all like really shoddy and stuff and some middle-aged dude walks out in like jean shorts and like a old guy's rule shirt and he's balding and everything like that and he's just like oh you're for the camera and i'm like yeah so he pulls it out like this like crusty looking box and uh yeah and they're like this is on top and like this just shiny bag with eight floppy disks Oh yeah, don't worry man, I got I got eight floppy disks for you. Oh, oh boy, thanks. Appreciate you. Yeah, it's a great camera. I'm like, yeah, and uh, what about the uh, Canon? He's like, oh, oh yeah, that's in there. And the Canon is just like in the bottom, just like dusted over and just like totally forgotten. And I'm like, that's kind of why I'm here. And he's like, but but this, this digital cam is pretty sick. Cause you know, he bought this and like, but this was like one of the first cameras that had, um, like removable media that you could just plug into a computer. Before then, all the digital cameras had like internal memory with like proprietary cables. So like you, it wasn't like a USB thing. It wasn't like our USB-C thing. It was like each camera had their own cable. Uh, so this was the first one to use floppy disks, which you could just put directly into your computer. So that was the big draw to it. Why am I showing this to you? Why am I? Uh, discussing my poor life decisions with you. Oh, here's another one. Because, 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 I've stumbled across something on the internet that is a life changer. And it is, of course, oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah, look at that. This is, let me get out of the packaging. Oh yeah. Hmm. Okay. Well, this is a this is a floppy disk reader with a USB port. So hopefully I can record stuff on this 
and edit the footage. Uh, this was like 20 bucks, uh, so it's not that big of an expense. I've used this camera a little bit. The batteries are pretty fried, but it has a, like a DC port, so I can just kind of keep it plugged into the wall. And the cord is about, um, let's see, it's about 14 miles long. So it should be okay for most things. It's kind of a pain in the ass to wind up, but for the most part, it's fine. The drive itself is kind of what I wanted to talk about because it's um, made by a company called Dainty. And I don't really feel confident in this cheap plastic thing that's called a Dainty disc drive. <laughs> like, writing's kind of on the wall with that. So I'll be very interested to see if it works and also how well it works. It does say fragile, which makes sense. Do not push cover. I just, I don't really want to touch this anymore because I'm afraid I will destroy it, but this is it. There's no definition to it whatsoever. The disc goes in there. Apparently this little light will go and then there's a little eject button there. You can see it's like already scuffed. I literally, you watched me pull it out of the box for the first time, but it's like scuffed on the side there a little bit already, just really cheap plastic. So we will see how that works. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. I really do enjoy shooting like 16 millimeter and super eight millimeter, but since like my weird fallout with um, the company I was using to like develop and scan, footage I've, I don't really feel comfortable and confident in like shooting film sending it out to them and knowing that like there's going to be some mutual respect there I'm just kind of like iffy on that and so I figured like I want to try and explore different avenues that might be a little bit more cost effective too because shooting 16 millimeter is just an expense like the film itself is like a hundred bucks for a hundred foot spool uh, which is like three and a half minutes roughly. And then to develop that and scan it and everything. And this is just in like, in 720p, um, it's about, I think a hundred bucks, give or take. Cause it's like about a dollar per foot. So it's, it's an expensive thing. And you really have to know what you want to do. You have to make sure that like what you're getting is going to be good. And I do plan on shooting film very soon here. So don't get me wrong there. But for right now, while I'm just kind of experimenting with different things and trying to get different, you know, projects rolling, I figured why not just give this floppy disk thing a try. At the very least, it'd be kind of fun content to put up here. And the video quality itself is going to be so shitty. <laughs> I cannot stress this enough. 1.6 megapixels is the crustiest thing you can find. This is my uh, Goodwill camera that I use. And this has... 3.2, okay? One point six. <laughs> I, I cannot wait. Anyway, that was just something I wanted to share. Um, and just get out there that like, you know, shoot on different things, explore different mediums. And I'll see how this disc drive works, but I would like to point out like, you know, good for Dainty or whatever companies are like jumping in and like making these like uh, systems that you can still use these older technologies. Like good for them. That's, I think that's very important. Cause like, not everyone's, you know, a tool bag like me and trying to shoot on floppy disks and be like, oh, this sucks. You know, some people have like important information and documents stored on floppy disks and they just need to get them like modernized. So I think it's, it's a good thing. And it just makes me kind of happy to see as somebody who like invests a lot of time and interest in like more outdated things that there are larger companies, manufacturing companies that are like putting their money into producing things that will effectively help keep more obsolete technology accessible. So that's pretty much all. That was a little, very small ramble slash walkthrough of my Sony Mavica. If I shoot anything on it, I will make a separate video discussing it more, but I've like messed around with it for like two seconds. So I'm not super confident or familiar with the system itself. So that is all. And uh, thank you for watching.